Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just hopping in this CLK 63. The seatbelt retractors work as they're intended to. Car is 23,754 miles. Stop start button works. Everything works on this car. Uh, Troy here is going to be recording as we do a little driving video. Car has been outside for 10 minutes. We let it warm up. Parking brake works as intended. Here we go. AC works. We'll put it up for a second so you guys can hear it. AC blows cold and works great. I'm going to shut that off now. This car has practically lived at a Mercedes-Benz dealership since it was new. It's a pretty much two-owner CPO car that was just uh, was just purchased by the previous customer, and uh, he had it serviced the entire time. It's been at Mercedes-Benz. Uh, interior is gorgeous. Alcantara headliner. Blinkers work. Here is what I was talking about. But anyways, as we drive, we'll start off gently in comfort mode. And if you want to show them the dash, I'll show them the dash, I guess. As we start off in comfort mode, uh, super, super easy. And then we'll give it a little bit more of a aggressive driving experience. You can just focus on the road, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the AC because it actually is a little bit hot outside today. This morning when we started, it wasn't as hot, but now it's pretty warm. Uh, this is actually my first time driving this car, which is really exciting. I have never driven a CLK 63, uh, I don't think. I've driven tons of 6.3s, 6.2s, uh, but never a CLK 63, and especially not with this kind of mileage, so I'm kind of excited. Uh, so I guess I'll get right into it. I just put it into sport, and I just downshifted the second gear. RPM steadily rising, and bang out of shift. Uh, I love it. Super smooth. Yeah. That's 75, it feels so firm, so quiet. It's actually ridiculous. Uh, this car just gets up there pretty quickly. First year, waiting for this lovely uh, truck driver to get out of the way. We'll take a little left, we'll go up and down the street. We'll keep, oh, that guy is moving. And, okay, first year pull. Oh, that engine screams. Yeah, it does. That's 60. That's 75, 80, 90. Okay, and we slow down. Yeah, they're very fast. Yeah, pretty quick pickup. That was first, second, third into fourth gear, and then I stopped accelerating. Uh, pretty quick. Engine absolutely screams at red line. Downshifting to fourth. Oh, I could downshift again, but I don't need to. It's a lot. That's too fast already. Uh, this is like 65, and there's absolutely no noise really quiet, really smooth on a back road, which is absolutely insane. Radio works great. Suspension's quiet. Uh, AC feels good. I think my heated seats are on, if I even know how to do that, if there are heated seats. I guess there's not. It's just a black seat and it's been in the sun. Oh, there are heated seats. No, uh, I'll tell you if they work. Give me one second. Downshift to third. Wow, that was just yummy. Oof. That's cool. Wow. That's ridiculous. That's insane. For a convertible, that's absolutely absurd. Handles very well. Yeah, no doubt. And these corners are tight. I don't know if you can tell, but they're not they're not soft corners and they uh this car makes it look easy. As we approach the narrow Especially with the suspension on going down these back roads. It's flawless. Yeah. We'll give it a little bit of gas, but I don't want to go too fast because cops sometimes say, okay, that's just absurd. Okay, brakes. Brakes feel great. I think there's six pistons up front. Um, this is the equivalent of a German muscle car, in my opinion, which is pretty cool. Love to see it. My boys are here shooting, so let's go take a look. They're and what shooting. year is this car again, Joey? This is an 07. 07. And the boys, if you take a look over here, are out here shooting the uh, Bentley and the Mercedes. Check these guys out. A little quick tour of what they're doing. These boys are shooting some cars. We'll turn around. We won't interrupt them. They're all wondering why I'm here. We'll do a little Huey here and we'll drive back. And heated seats 
to work. We're just checking in on them, make sure they're working. You know how it is. As we take a left here, this car was in business, downshifted into first gear. And then shifted into second gear. craziest part is it's not loud you can hear the engine scream but if you threw an exhaust on this it would just be disgusting it would be like disrespectful to your neighbors <laughs> um, super cool car this one hasn't been abused or uh, destroyed I'm gonna guess that my driving just now in this video was the hardest driving this car's ever got heated seats work great honestly I should turn off traction control and burn up these tires but they're newer tires so I won't do that guys next owner can decide if he wants to burn the tires but yeah we'll put it in regular comfort mode because i feel like i never do enough of that uh, and we'll just drive it a little bit smoothly so people can see it's a tame car also perhaps not everyone is looking to buy this because of the 6.3 liter but because it just looks good which in that regards it is quite a good looking vehicle the only modern day compared first off they only made 200 of these uh, total ever made worldwide like 220 CLK 63 convertibles uh, They made a few CLK 63 black series. So the CLK 63 black series is this car with a little bit beefed up suspension wider body panels and a hard top as opposed to a convertible and those go on the market for a quarter million dollars nowadays So you're getting into as close as you can to a CLK 63 black series at one-tenth the cost no joke, right? Like This isn't gonna do fifty thousand dollars if it does god bless but it seems unlikely that uh we'll see fifty thousand dollars on this car so you're getting in at like somewhere in the ten percent price range of uh of a clk 63 black series which is pretty crazy because it's not ten percent of a car it's pretty close to like seventy percent of a car and practically the same specs right they're pretty close yeah same engine slightly different but really all the same in the big picture same body same lines same underpinning it's pretty similar vehicles this one's a little bit more tame i will give you that oh but thanks for watching guys awesome video we can give them another couple seconds but i like to give them a little bit of a softer driving because i drive it like like they're meant to be driven right. like sports cars but some people don't want to see it driven as like a race car they want to see that they could actually like drive this home from church on sunday or drive to the beach or oh, yeah. whatever Let's have it is. a nice dinner yeah you don't need to drive this car like a race car it drives like a normal car too so that's a cool feature on these braking feels phenomenal stops on a dime and these are also understated cars like most people don't most people looking at this car won't know that it's an amg nearly 500 horsepower 500 pound feet torque sedan coupe actually convertible just doesn't give you that perception so super cool super classy and for a 2007 like joey was saying it's literally seems like it's been living on the lot yeah, its whole life it, it hasn't left the showroom floor for for the last 15 years it looks brand new the interior is immaculate seats are like new and just such a clean car very clean it's honestly exciting to see something like this okay awesome thanks for watching guys have a good one